This is a, um, a young adult paralysis tick, Ixodes holocyclus, that uh, I just rem removed from myself. Just come back from a bushwalk. And this is the stage that they um, are at when they crawl onto dogs and cats and people and start attaching and causing paralysis. So, um, Ixodes holocyclus, paralysis tick. Uh, shellback, whatever you like to call them. They're quite uh, rugged little creatures and um, in the case of dogs and cats most of them will attach from the shoulders forward along the neck, the face and so forth. Um, he's um, likely to attach wherever he can um, and um, just starting to take care he'll find a um, find a um, Air follicle and go down beside a gland, just checking things out for a suitable spot. You can see he's slowed down and he's walking around, finding what he considers an interesting spot to attach, and he, he won't be allowed to do so. This is the second one I've got off myself in less than half an hour. The previous one had already started to burrow into my back, so we'll need to watch the doggies. But here you are, have a look at that while you can, because he's not going to be staying very long. Ticks, um, apart from causing paralysis and suffering and killing many animals, um, also transmit diseases such as Lyme's disease, Borreliosis and so forth. Anyway, um, this one will be um, helped on his way out of this reality very, very soon. With a squash between the, uh, my fingernail, thumbnail and uh, the table. Ixity holocyclus paralysis tick after rain uh, with some humid warm weather um, in spring and summer particularly and particularly around the Sydney northern beaches where there's plenty of bush uh, bandicoots and possums these things become quite abundant here we go doesn't want to come off hanging on but not burrowing in at the moment. Quite difficult to scratch off. Anyway, can't do that very well. There, 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 and there. Now, that's a dying tick. Squashed.